This is a video of part of a road trip I took when I was in America in 2015. It was along a road called the Schaefer Trail. The Schaefer Trail is in Canyonlands National Park which is in Utah. I had flown into Denver, Colorado and made my way west to the park. From this map you can see that the trail starts off with lots of bends in it, then straightens out. It is about 18 miles long. For this trip I had hired a four-wheel drive truck, just to be sure. And this is what I was going to drive down. The trail starts off very flat and is not difficult. I had three cameras fixed to the car. One on each side window and one looking forward through the front windscreen. After a while, I got my first indication of how deep the canyon was. The road narrows a lot now and this is the first curve or hairpin that I came to. Wasn't too bad, this one. But now it gets a bit tighter. Notice how slowly I'm going. I'm taking my time going down this section. At this point, the camera on the right hand window was pointing straight down the canyon. Then I came to this hairpin. I think I might have got round it in one, but I didn't want to chance it. I bottled it and reversed a little bit. Check the reflection in the top left hand corner. You can see my hand working feverishly to get it into reverse. See the ruts in the road where the water just rushes down occasionally. The road can get washed away. Luckily I was in the middle of summer and the ground was very hard. This is practically the last corner of the up section. Now it, this bit is fairly straight. I only have to put up with the rough surface. Approaching a junction here, if I'd have gone straight on, it would have led to a 48 mile track that goes all the way around Canyonlands National Park. I didn't fancy that, so I turned left. This is on to what's called the Potash Road. The scenery is quite dramatic here. To be honest, I wasn't looking at the uh, mountains or the hills in the distance, I was just concentrating on the road. In the USA, they cater for every need. At this point, you feel as though you're miles from anywhere, no mod cons or anything. The fact is, on my left is a toilet. It's 
what they call a pit toilet, but it's better than nothing. It's that box building just to the left there. I had travelled about halfway along the trail before I saw another car. I didn't meet anything on the hairpin section. I look as though I've gone a bit mad here as I appear to be driving straight at the other car. But it was the smoothest part of the road I could find. I think the car had stopped to see the place where the car flew off the side of the canyon in the film Thelma and Louise. The road got a lot smoother and sandier for a bit and I met three more vehicles. All terrain vehicles. Best thing for the job. I found out later these could be hired in the town where I was staying. Was I annoyed? I could have had a comfortable car for the rest of the trip and just got one of those ATVs for the chauffeur track. I mentioned earlier that the road was known as the Potash Road. This is because there is a potash production mine behind the fence. Technically you are on private land, but I think the public have a right of way. River water is pumped into the mine and dissolves the potash, after which the brine solution is pumped to evaporation ponds, which is what you can see. I had done a lot of research on this trip, and this road in particular, before I went there and I've watched other people's videos of their trips down the Schaefer Trail. So, just after I passed this car, I saw a car park ahead and I knew this was coming to the end of the trip. Listen to the squawk that I make when I realise this. Here I swing round at the end of the trail to park the car up in the car park and sort out the four wheel drive because it was a very antiquated system. I had to twist the hubcaps on the wheels to make it work. I did use the loo at the end of the trip, I must admit. But it was a good trip. <laughs> 